They are deliberately and aggressively targeting their investments in the region to gain a comp competitive advantage over the United States. Should this occur, the balance of power in the Horn of Africa astride major arteries of maritime trade between Europe, the Middle East, and South Asia would shift in favor of China. National Security Advisor John Bolton sounding a new alarm on China and Russia's quiet, but massive investments encroaching on the African continent. As those countries plant their economic flags across the region, Bolton put a number on it saying between 2016 and 2017, China plowed $6.4 billion into Africa. Russia, for its part, is pushing its own arms and energy on the continent as it then extracts rare earth minerals and other natural resources. Under Bolton's new Prosper Africa strategy, the U.S. will take on those threats by reinforcing economic ties with Africa. We bring in, in a Fox Business exclusive, Ambassador Michael Froman, former U.S. Trade Representative under President Obama. He's also MasterCard's vice chair and strategic growth president. Ambassador, get, get to it. At first, this struck us as interesting that the national security advisor would be the guy to announce an economic plan or partnership with, with Africa. How do you see it? Well, look, I think uh, uh, this is a, uh, a positive move in that we have a great opportunity in Africa to expand trade and investment. You know, if you look back historically, back in 2000, at the end of the Clinton administration, we put in place the African Growth and Opportunity Act, which allowed exports from Africa to come into the U.S. duty free. And during the Obama administration, we focused on bringing electricity to Africa, the Power Africa initiative, which I'm delighted that the Trump administration has continued. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot more that we can do there, uh, both as a government with development finance uh, institutions, but also very much the private sector finding the right opportunities there to invest in Africa. Well, so we showed this map. I don't know if we can put it up again, but have we missed the boat? Because it's been, I think, in the last decade that China has grabbed that top trading partner spot with Africa. The yellow parts of this map are all China. Um, are we that far behind? Can we get in there? What will it take? Well, China is in there in a big way. Uh, they've invested in a lot of infrastructure, whether it's roads or uh, buildings or airports. Uh, they've invested a lot in extractive industries, taking minerals and oil out of the continent. I think what the U.S. can do is to invest in building capacity in Africa, and that gives us a lot of goodwill with uh, the people and the governments of, of the continent. Uh, you know, we're not just there to take extractive industries out of the extractive uh, resources out of the continent. We can be there to invest in human capital and human resources in the continent and, and therefore have greater influence there as well.